Hey everyone, my name is Marco and back once again from my color screen. If you really enjoy having widgets on your home screen, but don't enjoy the fact that they clutter your home screen and make it look really untidy, then you're really gonna enjoy today's complete guide. Let us begin. Great, so today's complete guide will be on pop-up widget. Now a lot of people haven't heard of this and the people that have might be having troubles with it. So we decided to do a complete guide to it. What exactly is pop-up widget? Well, what it allows you to do is say if you have a, you, you still want to have a minimal home screen, but you still want to be able to see all your widgets, then say tapping on the corner or on an icon or whatever else you want can get a widget to pop up magically like that in any style of a way that you want and it looks really good it's pulled off very well by pop-up widget so without any further ado let's bring to you today's complete guide to pop-up widget let us begin so if we start out with the app if we just open it like this there's not really much to it from here if you have a look at the top i've already got some pre-made with a pop-up widget shortcuts that i've created so what's really nice is that say if you delete your shortcut or whatever else you delete you'll still have your custom configuration that you have here that you can use it whenever you want so there are two ways of getting into the screen you can either just go into the app like this or if you want to add in a, um, a shortcut straight away you want to hold down on your home screen and now pop up widget even though it's called a widget it's not found in your widgets it'll be found in your shortcuts over here so just remember that if you can't seem to find it as you can see there it is right there so if you select it like as you can see it's popped up with the screen so now what we'll be doing is adding just a really basic shortcut so let's create a new one like this we'll select the create a new pop-up widget so it's really nice to get you to choose pretty much any widget that you have installed on your android device which I really really enjoy so just for something simple say if we wanted to go for eye and sky we'll select it here and it shows us our four types of widgets that we can choose from so I'm just gonna go for cities for now now what's also good is that you can now choose what your eye and sky's config is gonna be like so a lot of people already know how this app works so I'm just gonna leave everything pretty much standard so and just select okay like that and then once your widgets been configured you'll it'll come up to your pop-up widget options for that specific shortcut so let's start at the bottom here it's just going to show you what it's going to look like and what it allows you to do is actually resize the widget so if you want it bigger or smaller or if not enough is showing you can just use these little handles here just to make the app fit better on your home screen basically so you just move the handles like that if we scroll up a bit here as you can see it has custom position which basically allows you to have the widget like i said earlier appear in any part of the screen so say if you wanted to appear lower or higher then you'd select custom position and then it allow you to input your own position so that I think is in the top corner right there so if you wanted it say in the middle you put like 200 or by 200 something like that let's try 200 so I've input a custom position just remember that you will be needing the paid version for this setup otherwise you won't be able you just get a standard position wherever the shortcut is moving up we'll get to our effect which is really cool so say if you wanted to decelerate when the widget appears or accelerate pretty much whatever you want they look really cool try them out i really enjoy those moving up towards the speed you can choose now how fast you want it to pop up basically so i'm just going to leave it like that for now as you can change it whenever you want basically so now for animation what's really also cool is now how do you want the pop-up widget to appear so you can say pop to top i always like to go say slide from left slide from right there's so many to choose from here so let's just go to slide from right remember you can always edit these later once you've created this specific widget so just keep that in mind a few more options here is auto close and close by touch i always like to keep these enabled as say when the widget pops up you can just tap away and then the the app will just close itself or or say if you go into another app or something like that so just keep those in mind and then you got your background here i always just keep it standard as your your widget you would have the specific background for that widget so but you're also welcome to have a solid color or different types of skins as well so finally we're going to end off with the title now this always helps as like with many of these different widgets is that you always want to give your individually created widget a specific name so say if you created eye and sky i would just say i so something like that and then select okay just so when you re-importing it you actually know what what it was called so it just really helps like that 
and then obviously new widget if you didn't want iron sky you just select new widget and then you can just start the whole process over again so we're just going to select back as you can see i has just popped up like this so now you want to be selecting that i in sky app that you just created and it has appeared right here it corresponds to what the shortcut will look like so let's just see how it'll work if i tap it like that boom appears at the top like that remember that's my custom position that i set so if i wanted it lower i would just increase the size and it would bring it lower or more to the left more to the right depending on what you want so just tapping away and it disappears and that's pretty much that obviously now it becomes an icon basically so if you want to hold down you can select edit you can change what that shortcut looks like so say if you don't want it, that little iron sky icon you can change it to whatever icon you want depending on what you have on your phone. So that's pretty much the basics of pop-up widget and pretty much 80% of what this guide is. It's just an easy setup of this pop-up widget. So it's a really good looking widget, but now we're gonna move into some advanced features or what it can actually be capable of. Great, so moving on to one of the most beneficial features of pop-up widget is that because it's a shortcut, it can be added to different customization widgets such as UCCW that you see on the left hand side here. Just letting you know that this home screen is by Pytax and it is called Maxi. I'll put up the video tutorial in the link below. But what I want to do is customize it slightly as say you want to have some pop-up widgets say for your RSS reader or for your calls or whatever you want. So we're going to, I've turned off my lock widgets in UCCW editor. So it'll bring up my editor like this. And now say you want to add in a hotspot. So I'll just select background here select my hotspots if you're not too sure about how hotspots work check in the uccw tutorial link in the description below so as you can see it displays all the different hotspots that can be configured in uccw and what's great about these hotspots is that they can be assigned to shortcuts so say for hotspots number six it's assigned to the just to open up the dialer but i want to be i want to be opening up a widget dialer so all i'd have to do is select the six hotspot select hotspot now and then select shortcut as you can see it brings up quite a few to choose from but we want to go for pop-up widget which is this one over here select selecting it like that as you can see i've already created some predefined ones so say if i just wanted to i just have to create a new pop-up widget select say simple dialer widget and then once it's been configured then i just have to select it and it'd be configured like this so all i'd have to do is select my menu here lock widgets and then say on as this will now enable hotspot mode so say if i wanted to open up my dialer now and make it look really cool then i can just select my hotspot over here and it'll bring up my dialer where i can punch in any number and then call really quick and simple and it just goes away without any hassles i've also added the simple rss widget so say if i just wanted to quickly check my news i can just tap in the corner here and it'll bring up all of my news and I can just tap that and it'll bring up whatever news you would want. And this goes for any widget that you would want. Say if you wanted just a calendar widget just to see what agenda you have for the day, you can just tap the date and it'll bring up whatever calendar appointments that you would have. And say if you want to get really technical, you can have your pop-up widget open up a UCCW skin shortcut within a UCCW skin. So say when just tapping that in the corner here, it'll bring up another UCCW skin that you have defined for it and then have whatever UCCW skin you wanted to open here. And then you can still have another pop-up widget with inside that and you can just keep on going. I'm not sure for how long, but until your phone explodes. So thank you very much guys for watching this complete guide. I hope you understand pop-up widget a little bit better now, as well as all the amazing things that it can do. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco here from My Color Screen. Don't forget to subscribe, like or comment on this channel, as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. So here's Marco from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.